Yo, you know how crazy it is this year that we've had a couple like good people in the YouTube scene kind of like get into controversy? Like Marcus Brownlee never gets into controversy. If you're mad about like a technology take that he has, that's fine. That's whatever, right? But like controversy like this, I would never expect from him. Like especially from him, right? Because all he does is cover tech content. Him and Linus, I think, had controversies in the past. I'm not sure because I'm not in the tech world like that. But it's kind of crazy that this is the second time Marquez is in kind of like, you know, controversy here. So if you don't know who Marquez Bonley is, first of all, to be genuinely surprised, you have to be around like the age of like seven or eight if you don't know who Marquez is. He's basically one of the biggest like tech YouTubers out there. I think him and Linus are like top two and somebody else. Uh, I, I used to watch him a lot. Oh yeah, Unbox Therapy. I think those three are like the biggest tech YouTubers in the community, I think. I'm not sure. You might have to fact check me on that. But those three are like pretty well known in the YouTube space. Marquez's first controversy this year was him upcharging on like basic wallpapers that you can essentially Google for and get them for free. He created an app where for like $50, I think was like a year or a month. I'm not really sure where you would buy wallpapers essentially when like I just said a few seconds ago, you can just Google them and then get them for free without, you know, paying $50 a year for some pretty basic wallpapers. You can easily just Google up Dragon Ball Z wallpapers, Goku wallpapers, Vegeta wallpapers, wallpapers of your favorite show and they're better quality than what Marquez was trying to sell. I can't lie to you. Also, people are coming at this guy for making a whole dedicated sponsored video on the product. I mean, that's the point. It's a nine minute video of showing you a product that the company, you know, gave to him and be like, hey, we're going to pay you this amount if you make a whole video dedicated to our product. And that's what he did. And he reviewed the product. Like, get your bag, get your money. Like, yes, this dude has like almost 20 million subscribers, even without the sponsored video, he would still be making a bag. But my point still stands in general. YouTubers, when you ever see a sponsor from a YouTuber, they're trying to get their bag. They're trying to get their money up, okay? So I don't blame him for making a whole dedicated video on this product because he's trying to get his money up, even though his money is already up. So yeah, I don't really give a shit that this man had a whole dedicated sponsor video. What I care about is that this man was going 135 in like a school zone. That's what I care about. So I think the main thing that I've taken away from all of the fun that I've had with these little cameras I just showed you the clip and you can clearly see that the speed limit is 35 miles per hour and this man was going at like 96, 95, no Lightning McQueen. Damn near 100 miles per hour and a 35. Now, would I be making this video if this dude was going at like 40, 45 miles per hour? No. But this man was going triple the speed limit. Imagine if a kid was like walking, bro. He's not stopping the car. There's no way. This man got so much fucking money that I will probably never see in my lifetime. Easily could have rented out like a track of some sorts if he really wanted to show the camera in a car segment, bro. Like that badly, this man can go easily rent out a track and do his wannabe Fast and Furious shit. Go as fast as he can on a track where, you know, nothing dangerous can happen to like anybody else. I mean, I'm 19 and I don't drive. Yeah, cook me in the comments all you want. I really don't give a shit. In high school, people were getting into like accidents and also taking up two, two parking spots. I'm, I wish I had a picture of somebody literally taking up two parking spots. So I'm just like, yeah, no, I'm not driving to school, bro. Like, fuck that shit. So I don't drive, but I'm also not sitting here saying, all right, guys, I'm a civilian. I go, you know, at the speed limit, right? If, if I was driving, I'd probably go like 35, 36, 40 miles per hour, right? Like if I I had like a little sports car and shit right which is like a dream car or whatever right all right my dream dream car is a nissan skyline gtr because i, I was watching too fast too furious but it's not the point the point i'm trying to say is that this man was going 96 in a 35 in a like children's zone he actually posted an apology on Twitter. He tweeted out saying, Last video I did something pretty stupid. You might have already seen it, but maybe not, so I'll address it here. There was a clip with the action cam of me test driving a car and going way too fast, absolutely inexcusable and dangerous. There's no reason to leave that clip in. There was no reason to include it in the first place, and I would never want to make it seem okay by leaving it in the video. I'm well aware of the Streisand effect, and I know everything on the internet lives forever, but I think that's the best decision right now. All I can do is apologize and promise never to do anything close to that stupid again. This is a terrible example with the set and i'm sorry for it fair play to him you know for apologizing and acknowledging that he did something stupid will this cause him to fall off you know become irrelevant probably not he might lose a few subscribers but you know he's not gonna fall off you know be irrelevant you know and like i said if a youtuber is doing a sponsored video 
Like, why do you as the consumer really give a shit? Let's be real. Like, I don't know. Like, get your money up, not your funny up, bro. Like, that's all I gotta say to that. Like, it's stupid that people came at him for a sponsored video. Like, get your back, huh? Like, I know he got, like, a six-figure paycheck for that video. But what he did is stupid. All right, if you're driving, do not go 100 in a 35. That's, like, driving school 101. And I'm gonna leave it at that. Honestly, I don't got it in me to make this video eight minutes long. I could give a shit, so... <laughs> If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing and turning on post notifications for whenever I decide to post and be a daily YouTuber now, guys. And uh, if you hear background noise, I'm sorry. I just don't got the time I did to record anywhere else. So apologies. And uh, I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video where I talk about the whole 9 to 5 streaming debate again, bro. Because I feel like it needs to get through people's heads that like, obviously, a regular job is harder than being a streamer. But whatever, I ain't say shit. I'll see y'all tomorrow, hopefully, or whenever I post the next video. And uh, check out my other social medias, links down below as well. And uh, yeah, it's about it. Peace.